thank you for voting as Yuba Sutter's best in multiple categories, including financial advisor and wealth management firm for the past five years. You can find more information at shawassociatesinc.com or 530-674-1150. Shawn Associates is proud to support Community Radio. And before we start this interview, I want to just say these two ladies are extremely brave for coming in with three morning show DJs come at one on, time. Come on. I'll try two to get of a my word favorite of people, and I don't mean John and Gary. Oh, my God. <laughs> Especially here this last year, I want to thank Sapphire Marketing. Is that where you're going with this? Yeah. Uh, for for yeah. You know, uh, helping out with our, with our telethon here a couple weeks yeah, back. Yeah, radiothon was great. Yeah. Well, so. it was our pleasure. You do so much for the community. It was our way of giving back to you. Absolutely. I like that. Well, you know, a lot of times when you work with a business, you think, oh, my gosh, business, right? You know? Yeah. So I went in to talk to these gals, and they turned the whole thing into fun. <laughs> oh, that's good. So when they said they wanted to do a fundraiser, I thought they meant F-U-N. We're going to do a fundraiser. <laughs> and I thought, I'm in. What do you? <laughs> How, How do much you more fun I'm can in. we yeah. have? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That day was pretty fun. It was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, it yeah. was exciting. Yeah. But of yeah. course, we're here to talk about the Home Garden and Recreation Show. Uh, something that's John near, has, near to my John, heart. don't you? John, <laughs> did see, I get it out? Did I let the cat out of the bag? Yeah, that's something that's, that's on oh, John's okay. heart. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited right about it, like, man. Hey. Uh, 14,000 people are going to come through b- these uh, booths at the Yubasutter Fairgrounds March 25th, 26th, and 27th. What, probably the biggest event in Yuba Sutter history. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but it has been historic. John, why are you can, so excited about you, this? Oh, well, because I've been the voice of the home show for like the last 20 years. It's Would just you, something that's near and dear to my heart. Like a, I'm like a lot of folks. This this is great. I'm glad that uh, Sapphire Marketing is continuing, picking up the ball and run with it here. Yeah. yeah. I, we want to talk about history. Um, yeah. I mean, a lot of people, they know the home show. The home show has been here for 30 years. Wow. This is the 30th year, and I got information from um, from the previous owner that uh, 1992 with Bob Bach, and a lot of people remember being at the home show with Bob Bach. Yeah. It started it all. It was the Big Boy and Big Girl Toy Show that started out and became the home show, and it's been the home show That's ever craziness. since. Yeah. And this this actual has been represented. Other areas have come through and go, how do I get one of these in my town? Mm-hmm. And I'm sure you're going to get a lot of that. And we have gone out to some of the other shows and looked at the exhibitors that are at those shows to bring them here so we've you know judy's done a really good job with the exhibitors and in getting them here speaking of which where are we at on the exhibitor spaces because what i mean is uh, is there space because like i said fourteen thousand people coming through your store in one one weekend i could if i was a business owner i can handle that we do have a few spaces left and what we're finding is um, some of the people that aren't returning this year are because they they have a hard time finding staffing i mean we've had bald mountain bald mountain nursery has been here with a huge outside display and and when I, when I spoke to them, they said, I, I don't have the employees to be able to have a separate whole site. I need to run my business and make my money. Yeah. And so there, there are quite a few of those. So we do have some openings in um, the, the main exhibit hall, also in our, our Gift and Gourmet, which is a specialized building for foodies and handcrafted things that Where they signed years me up. ago. Well, I was going to get my pickled garlic. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 they, they always have some, like the nut Barbecue guy. Barbecue sauces, all, kinds, all yeah. kinds of very cool stuff in our Gift and Gourmet. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. A, a lot of it's local. A lot of it's handmade. Um, I've recently reached out to a couple other people um, that have new, that have created new businesses, you know, since COVID started to see if we can get them some advertising and get them some more some more people, some more business. Um, we had the women's event at the Hard Rock this last weekend, and they had a bunch yeah. of vendors set up. And, and um, I was passing out business cards going, hey, we'd love to have you in our gift and gourmet. You know, come yeah. see us, 14,000 people in three days. You know, it's the space fee is definitely worth it with the exposure that you get, you know, at the home show. And we've had exhibitors tell us that this show keeps them busy for three to six months following the event with the leads they get. Yeah, I believe yeah. that. I yeah. believe that. Because, you, you know, you walk marketing. through there, and like I said earlier, I, I like the walk and it's really a nice little walk right and then it's, it's like wait what do you walk three feet and there's another booth mm-hmm. right and there's yes. somebody else right and they're always like giving you stuff right it's like well here this right and you don't think about it but you know john had mentioned earlier uh, there's so many things you can enter to win mm-hmm. you actually could win something and so it's, it's just a fun thing and it's a thing a family can do you can take your family out there and you know so speaking of entering to win uh, <laughs> is anybody giving away 
uh, a trip for two to Disneyland for about three days at the end of April. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not saying anything, but 20 years anniversary is coming Somebody, up, and I want to try to win I'm that. not asking for me, but I'm wearing a Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. A- exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, well Gary, but, I know that they could sell you a booth where you could actually make that happen <laughs> for somebody else. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, besides that, they might be able to raise enough funds to send you and your bride, but... I'm telling you, the 27 kids got to stay yeah, home. That's, that's the goal. That's the goal. <laughs> now, you said something about homeowners, but it, it is like 90, 95% homeowners that come through, but it's also renters because you're getting ideas. That's yeah. what I love about mm. it. I remember this one, uh, still in my head, uh, Got Rocks. I don't know if they're going to be back, but they, they're the, the fake rock company. They, they would do this thing yeah. where they make like, they, they look, look like a 1,500 pound boulder they lift with one little finger. I'm just saying, nice. those, those are the ideas that you can mm-hmm. get, make for your own yard you know they could put fountains and mm-hmm. spas and there's so many other mm-hmm. yeah pretty decorative much I mean, ideas anything you can think of i mean we have we have decor companies we have windows and siding and granite transformations and epoxies and paint tree right. companies and we have tree companies that are outside yes our local uh, richards uh, jp jp's Ar- arbor shop okay so um, richards where they have the guy at the top of the uh the crane yeah, waving they, at everybody. They usually yeah. have the, the mannequin up yeah. there. You know, he's like hanging it's off. It's funny watching people you know? wave at him. Yeah, it's a mannequin up there. Doing <laughs> this and people come by and they're like, no, waving back at me. What's going on? Yes. We have, um, we have insurance companies. We have engineers, um, you know, patio people. Um, you talked about Botanica and Spurbex. Yeah. They talk about, you know, yard and landscaping type things. We have the spa people um, from Live Oak, you know, California. They're they're amazing. And we have amazing food, too, you know. So yeah. don't forget about the, the food that comes. That yeah, because the food so, the food area the, is going to be open. Uh, over by the, the typical beer garden. So yeah. this is all happening at the fairgrounds. I mean, I, I, I mean it's a given, but yes. Are we going to have, like, Ozark's <laughs> Backwood Barbecue going to be there or something? Um, Oz- Ozarks is, or is the Chico is, Bean Company, maybe. We're, we're just talking. Uh, I know that some of the new the new food we have. Yeah, um, that's what I want to hear. Actually, um, Tim Tzinski from oh, yeah, Tim. is going to be oh, in yeah. Egyptian yeah. Gourmet Hall. Okay, yes, exactly. He's, okay, the good coffee is going to be there. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're talking about. I have a new vendor, um, Coco's Korean Teriyaki, is going to be there. Oh. Yeah, yeah okay. she's, she's very excited. So You'll know where to find John. Making the, <laughs> making the drool. She, <laughs> she's been a drool, Peach but... Festival staple for many years. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. So we're actually transitioning. You know, We're bringing our, our home show connections now to Peach Festival and a Peach Festival to home show, and it's just working out great for us. Well, that is a wonderful point because you all are a, a Sapphire marketing company now actually in charge of the home show. And you're going yes. to be able to bring that expertise into that. Uh, what are we going to be seeing if we could differently than maybe years past? Because I've been bringing up, I've been mentioning these people, but what are we? Going to, what's different besides the different food there? They're going to have a different announcer. Gary is really? going to be doing. That. <laughs> And welcome uh, to the home show, everybody. I can call, I can call myself Gary for a while. <laughs> you know, a lot of it is, even though when I was the manager at the fairgrounds, I was there when the home show, but a lot, yeah. of, a lot of times what you do is with an event is you go in and you see what's been happening in the past. You yeah. get a good feel of what's going on. At least that's yeah. how I like yeah, to do Yeah, that's the way it should be. And then you start putting in your personal touches and we start mm-hmm. adding in. We talk to the vendors. What do the vendors want to see? How are the changes and stuff What do they want to see? You know, I talked to Vanessa over at Helders, and yeah. she's one of the customers that says, you know, that is my best marketing tool. I have people and appointments and stuff for months after the home show. And um, she says, you know, I'd like to see a lot more demonstrations, you know, maybe set up a, a separate area where we do educational type things. And that's when I reached yeah. out to the uh, Yuba Sutter um, Gardeners. And Master they're gardeners. they're going to do some some compost demonstrations and stuff. But I think kind of getting the vendors in and the more educational stuff because I think with people on COVID, a lot of things that they're doing because they were home, they were they were investigating, they were educating themselves on the different the news and stuff what's going on. And so I think that that is going to be a, a big change. Mm-hmm. Carrie and I talked about that. You know, doing an educational part of it. We like education, adding education into anything that we mm-hmm. really want to do. And I think it's it's more about educating the public and, and letting them know, hey, these are the new trends. And, um, you know, let them know that we have the vendors that are available to be able to do that. Are there going to be stuff there for the kids to do? I mean, it's like, are they going to have like a cotton candy booth? Or I'm just saying that because it is something for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Our hopes, our hopes in the years to come is to have a a play area, you know, an area where if if the mom wants to go to Gift and Gourmet and look at all the stuff that the dad can take the kids to the play area. Because what happens, and we see it during fair time all the time, is that the kids start crying and then the parents want to go home. 
Yeah. And if you have something for the kids to do at an event where they can, you know, spend 45 minutes and get that mental break, that play time, and then you can go back and you can continue shopping and you spend the whole day there. And they can go back. In fact, uh, that is something I noticed a trend is that they will walk through the whole home show and they'll make the mental notes about what they'd have to do to go back. And then they'll usually walk out with one's got a, uh, a paper mache pig in one arm, one's got a, <laughs> uh, a weather vane in the other, some's got a piece of art under, tucked underneath their chin. They make all this. It's like one big shopping trip. Mm -hmm. and and they don't have to put any things in their basket. They can just go back and get it before well, they Well, and one of the things that we do, we're getting ready to send out our, our exhibitor packets to all of all of the exhibitors at the show. And part of the exhibitor package is actually a page of, of coupons or passes that the, the exhibitors get. And they can say, hey, uh, an exhibitor is there on Friday. I want to buy this. Um, I want to buy this barbecue. I want, I want to buy this spa. But I don't want to come. I don't want to have to take it. I want to wait until Sunday. Yeah. So what they do is they give them a pass and they can come back on Sunday to either shop again on things that they have maybe noticed that they're still kind of contemplating whether the, what that's they a want. That's great idea. Or, yeah. or they come pick oh, up their good. items. If the if the exhibitors need it for display type purposes, they can come back on Sunday and pick them up. So, I noticed you yeah. have Ralph's statuary back. Always a big hit. Up at the main gate. He's yeah. got some gorgeous stuff. Carrie and I saw him when we went to Cal Expo, the Cal Expo show earlier this year and he's got some great stuff. And actually, I talked to Ralph yesterday. Uh -oh. He was coming back from Mexico and he's excited. He actually has a gal that is here locally that has been buying his products for years and years and years. She's going to be with him, you know, in the booth to um, to show off the things that she's she and has here that can be picked up locally from Ralph. stuff does weigh so much. They want to sell it before. They don't have to take it back mm -hmm. to their place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're out of stock yes. is yes. what it is. And you mentioned they come back from Mexico. That's where a lot of it's made. Um, I've got one of those uh, those benches at my house. I got the elephant one myself. Oh, very uh, cool. Very cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, they are just fantastic. I don't want to forget about the recreation part of yes. the Home and Garden yes. Show, too. So, what recreation? So uh, we have Twin Rivers Polaris. We have Work and Play Power Sports. We have M Matthews Power Sports. So we've got all, In all other words, the, the toys. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, yes. Adult toys, the one that, that have four wheels on them. And or two. Or, don't or, forget two. Or more. <laughs> two wheels are Some of the bad. best. And basically, they encourage you to come set on them and go, hey, I could, this thing fits me pretty well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so and that's an area we look we hope to expand in the future because I mean there's boating that's yeah. not represented right yeah. now and hasn't been for many years and RVs uh, those types of things that I mean we haven't had any representation in a long time but we don't have any boat dealers really here in Yuba City like not new boat dealers yeah we have to go out of the area for that and and of course we, we're fine with having out of the area exhibitors but we also like to yeah. try and get the give priority to yeah. our local yeah. and help boost our local economy yeah. what, yeah. Kind, what kind of uh, I would say strange booths because that's always uh, strange is not a good word uh eclectic unique. what is like unique and eclectic <laughs> only because we've seen some that were like oh i don't know cbd lip oil or things i'm just saying that i'm just saying that those those kind of things uh, none, of, none of it's coming off the top of my head no, <laughs> no. judy don't worry I we probably been never will right? <laughs> no, no, I'm strange like, booths like a butterfly uh distributor or something like that because <laughs> that yeah, would be awesome do they even exist yes they actually <laughs> yes, do. They do. They, they do because uh, it's a lot of these things, you know, the master gardeners you, you were talking about real quick, they're the people that know what can grow where. And you can actually cook up. That, I've seen this actually happen. Uh, somebody at the home show say, well, I don't know if that'll go in my area. Oh, okay. Well, let's go over and talk to the master gardeners. Master gardeners there that you can talk like, oh, yeah, well, this will. And you can hook up the... Uh, the um, uh, the people to do the landscape with the master gardeners and you've got the whole thing taken care of at one spot and you are you ladies are oh. so correct when it comes to booking things in the future it literally is they're six months down the road but a lot of them make bookings right there they have the mm -hmm. the vendors show up with their their they, they've learned mm -hmm. you, yeah. know, you show up and they're booking things six months in advance a lot of them have like free consultations you know there's mm -hmm. always something free extra what they call show specials yes if yeah. you will. one thing i want to remind everyone is we will have cutco at at the at the home and garden show so you can yeah. bring your knives in and get them sharpened or you can schedule an appointment a lot of times they stay after an event <coughs> Um, and schedule appointments where you can bring in. We also have Kitchen Craft doing Kitchen demonstrations craft on the end of the main exhibit hall. Just follow your nose. <laughs> exactly. So all those fun type stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. along with everything that's happening there, um, what about the, the do-it-yourselfer to the guy who just wants to get something done? Say, I want to just do it myself and uh, take care of my backyard and get everything there. Or I want to have a company come in and do it for me. As, there are things for both those types of people there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Botanica is, is huge in this area as far as their landscaping. You can go to Spurbex and get your stuff, 
Um, yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, Botanica does that stuff. But um, as far as the, the landscaping part of it, I think this year um, there's some difficulties with that. I mean, I know we usually have um, Jack Montgomery, who has um, the paver exhibit that's right usually behind the um, behind the main office. You've yeah. seen that before. He has an amazing display. I talked to Jack, and he's getting married in June. Oh. And he's got all these projects he's got to get done, or else he's not going to get married in June. <laughs> Unfortunately, we won't have we won't have Jack Montgomery there. But it just I mean, there are trying times. So. Yeah, but it, this brings uh, both of those those perspectives into play. You can go there with, okay, I can do this much, but I need help with, say, getting in, the, like, the the cement work. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have cement people there, uh -huh. but there's going to be... Um, Oh my goodness, everybody, uh, windows and doors, mm -hmm. uh, people trying to budget make blinds. budget blinds. There's going to mm -hmm. be probably screen door places, going to be home security screen places. And screen and shades, yeah. Oh, these are all aspects of home ownership, and, and it's one reason why I rent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, John. You don't have to have the cost. Well, <laughs> <So>. thanks, John. <laughs> <laughs> and on that so, note, so. Uh, so that it, it's going to be how many days? When when does it start? Friday. When does it end? We start Friday, March twenty fifth. Uh -huh. Show opens from noon. It's open from noon to six p.m. Okay. And then Saturday and Sunday it opens at ten a.m. and goes to five p.m. What a great so, opportunity! You are you know, going to have an People are wanting to. Excuse me, John. Uh, people are wanting to get out. And here's, here's it's going to be know, sunny and sunny yeah, for the is, whole yeah, weekend. This, what a <laughs> great opportunity to, you know, hey, I'm out of the house. I'm going to go look for stuff. If they shut me back up, I'll have stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> so you'll have all the so, stuff for your home improvement projects. That's it. You get it done once. Uh, but you brought up uh, an interesting point, Judy, and that is that people are having a hard time finding laborers. Mm -hmm. So consequently, that does make it a little difficult for companies because we haven't quite caught up on that yet, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, but I'm I'm glad that you said, well, yeah, but there's a lot of things that you can get the product and it is a do-it-yourself. So mm -hmm. even if you don't have an installer, so both are available. So people that are going can say, hey, I want to do home improvement, right? Or with the recreational stuff, it's like I can get out. I mean, during the, the whole COVID thing, people were RVs. You couldn't find one. Right. Yeah. Because people said, well, okay, well, I'll just throw my whole family in an RV and out I go. Uh, well, that, that was ramifications from the campfire. Everyone was looking. In yeah, 2018 yeah, yeah. campfire and RVs were like extinct. Weird how that works so hard, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So oh, yeah. so this is but this is you guys first year. Okay. Yes. So here's yes. here's where I put a plug in for for Sapphire, right? I remember the first year you guys did the Peach Festival. It was amazing. The yeah. changes that you guys made, you know, you, you could tell it was thoroughly thought out. It was easier for traffic flow, you know, for people to walk through the way you had it set up. It was great for your brick and mortar places. Everybody benefited by those changes. So no pressure, but I'm expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, can you give us till yeah. year, year two for that expectation? <laughs> <laughs> and, by the way, we got year. high expectations. Expectations for <laughs> Sapphire Marketing. And by the way, the reason they, they was available for them to step up and do this because the old guy that ran it uh, became mayor of Chico. <laughs> oh, is that he right? He became way too successful. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew Coolidge became mayor of Chico. Well, so just, when you guys run perfectly. for politics, we lose you, right? Is yeah. that the deal, right? Yeah, it actually worked out perfectly for us. Well, yeah. and Andrew had worked with Judy when she was at the fair. Oh, I've been working yeah. with Andrew since we started the Peach Festival in Marysville 22 yeah. years ago. So wow. we have a long, we have long standing relationships with Andrew so we had agreed to keep the show this first year the same charge the same keep everything the same next year we would like to add some music in and some entertainment mm -hmm. keep people there for longer have them shopping for longer and that kind of thing it's but it's, it's good for them it's good for the exhibitors and have more family type events so you'll so see some additional changes next free parking year. Yeah. So you Free wanna, parking, yes. You want to yes. add music? Have you heard John sing? <laughs> I heard that you sing. We're going to bring Spork back. Uh, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Speaking Spork, of which. return. <laughs> Spork returns. Sparked return. again. Yeah. That sounds like a movie, The Return of Spork. We're going to put 93Q in charge of the entertainment next year. <laughs> oh, <laughs> help us. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Was... I see how that works. A little pressure on you, a little pressure back on us. Yeah. I see how that Website, works. Website, Facebook, all that stuff is, is up and it's running? All up, it's all up oh, and running, okay. yes. So mm -hmm. if, what's the website for the Home and Garden Show? Yeah. It's YCHomeShow.com. YCHomeShow.com. Wow. And then we're going to be making a bunch of updates 
um, new mapping and new information and stuff because we're just trying to finalize finalize things right now. So yeah. we're finalizing the maps. We're finalizing the vendor list. Um, so yeah. Is those. there going to be like a insert in the appeal like there's been? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, there's yeah. a spadia. Yeah. It's they have mm -hmm. a little spadia so cover that we do. So is it too late for vendors? It is not too late. Okay. So our make. phone number is five three zero. Seven six three five four zero two. Okay. And that's Sapphire Marketing and also the Yuba City Home and Garden Show. Okay. Yes. No. Okay. Absolutely. So, and then secondarily, do, do you guys have volunteers? Are there people that come and volunteer to help? Yes. Uh, do it. All right. And and yes. same thing. They call that number if they'd like to be part of that and help the home. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll put them to work. Yeah. <laughs> put them to work. Uh, yeah. I was thinking about John and Gary. I wasn't thinking about me. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Things like keeping up the keeping up the grounds, keeping them clean. I know they've had scouts yeah. come through in the past. Oh, Salem's going to help us out this Salem year. Salem is there. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. So, you should call the sea yeah. cadets. Those guys are great. They and then, yeah. um, call it field day. We we have my really cool. my local girl group, my Optimus International of, oh, of yeah, Marysville yeah, 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 yeah. is going to help us with the gates. So we love to involve the nonprofits, and there'll be Perfect. more of that in I the like years the to come. I like the happy optimist myself. <laughs> well, and then we have a couple of great sponsors like Recology is helping us out with the trash. Good, good. Um, and we have Appeal Democrat who is doing some additional like the insert, the Spadia and the ad advertising for us. And then we have Hometown Which Lenders. as a map when you get to there. Yes, yes. We have, we have Tri-Counties Bank. Oh, Tri-Counties Bank. Tri-Counties Bank. Sorry. And they've been a sponsor of the home show previously, but they're back mm -hmm. with us this year. So you'll see them up in the up in the main exhibit hall with the booth. So yeah, they we'd have either. them aboard. That's they wouldn't bank. be there. It's my personal bank, the mm -hmm. bank of the radio station, the bank, everything's there. You bring up a good point because these big companies would not be there unless they saw their return on investment. And that's mm -hmm. what this is. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is based on, this is business for good for everybody, for the homeowner, the just person getting an idea or the business owner, the business manager, mm -hmm. if you yeah. will. This is a great thing. March 25th, 26th, and 27th, noon till 5 on Friday the 25th. Noon to 6. Noon to noon 6. On six. Friday. Okay, and then noon. 10 a.m. to 5 on Saturday and Sunday. That's what. And that uh, Friday is our senior day, so yes. seniors get in for, I think it's a dollar, A right? dollar. Mm -hmm. And okay. then there's coupons out okay, there. Okay, I'm coming on Friday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We have coupons. Um, admission to the Home and Garden Show is seven dollars, but there's coupons out there all over the place for a two dollar uh, off. Okay. So it costs you five bucks to get in. No, if you we'll call ninety three Q, yes, yeah, we're gonna get yeah. to seven. We're gonna yeah. give away tickets to give away. Yes. We're gonna get it. So we'll get. That's it. what I'm saying. We'll do. We'll have John do trivia for tickets. Yeah. He's really good at that trivia, trivia too. for tickets. I'm a trivial guy. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah. definitely <laughs> are. Yeah, we'll get those right. tickets to you guys next week. Okay. Awesome. Carrie, yeah. Judy, thank you guys so much for coming in. Anything else you guys want to say about the home show before we end the interview? No. We we're just want to encourage everybody to come out and check it out. I mean, we've all been cooped up for so long. Come out and see what uh, we have to offer. Yeah. Absolutely. So and remember, on. 72 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And Judy seven. has guaranteed <laughs> 72 <laughs> degrees. AccuWeather, that's what it says. It's yeah. saying yeah. 68 to 72 for those three days. So. Well, I oh, thought nice. you were like applying to be our weather girl here at 93. <laughs> <laughs> She's a great weather girl. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think it. I, I think you've just offended Kurt. Poor Kurt. Yeah, yeah. I might get a phone like, call behind that. Exactly. <laughs> no, we're, we're excited. We're excited. Everyone come out and see us at the home show. Yeah. Yeah. Starting March 25th, 26th, and 27th. Judy, Carrie, thank you guys so much thank for coming in. And thank you for being thank in, you. too, John. Thank you, guys. Yes. <laughs> This community interview is made possible by Shaw & Associates. I'm Dave Shaw, President and CEO of Shaw & Associates. For over 65 years, Shaw & Associates has been your trusted local expert for wealth management, tax, accounting, and payroll. Thank you for voting us Yuba Sutter's best in multiple categories, including financial advisor and wealth management firm for the past five years. You can find more information at shawassociatesinc.com or 530-674-1150. Sean Associates is proud to support community.